You're on True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And before we get a lot of new stuff to talk about next week again, where I expect the new arc to start, I want to talk about some things this week that recently happened. And one includes this little ship here, the USS Enterprise D. You all know that and uh, I did a preview video on that one earlier in on my channel. And this one I just got this week. And uh, it's a galaxy class enterprise. Of course, you know her from the next generation. And she is the epic five star ship of the Federation. Previously, we talked about um, some previews for the six star ships, but now we're back with the five star ships because I just built this one. And uh, it's an explorer. I guess I don't have to tell my viewers anything anymore about uh, the combat triangle. If you don't know what that is, have a look in my help playlist there. You will find a video on that one. But that's important for what hostiles you hunt. It starts with 548 million um, as power, which is quite nice. But you need to tear it up quickly at the point where you build that one. I can tell you that much if you want to use it as your main ship. It has a ship ability galaxy class. As long as the ship is morale, the USS Enterprise D increases the weapon damage by 85% each round, and that's cumulative. Um, that's why you always have to think about a status with the, with the ships from that point, especially um, with my other ship, it's um, hull breach then. And uh, the third one I'm working on will need the burning, and you really have to take care that you do that. In this case, she can have three different uh, other abilities as well that you need to unlock. It's the ship cloaking. That's what they always do also for the Federation to keep it fair. But it also can have the weapon barrage. That's like one of those abilities like the horizon uh, defense ability or something. You have to unlock it and then it increases the number of shots per weapon against players by 30%. So that would be a, a PVP ability. And it w can have field repairs, those you can get uh, via the faction stores, if you haven't seen that, for example, and can uh, instantly repair the ship um, when when you are in... Um, we have incursion very soon again. So, you know, I'm filming always on Mondays. So when, when I'm saying we have it soon again, uh, when you see this and we have incursion, then you know, yeah, he filmed that on Monday. And uh, there it, it might be quite helpful, but I still don't have any field repair. That's why I didn't make a video about using them yet. They are quite expensive in the faction store. That, that's the problem. But talking about the, the starting um, power here, when we look at my Enterprise D, and I'm trying to, to recall the Monovine for ages and still doesn't come back. Um, I had her fight in a full video already because she never did, but now she seems to come back. Um, when we have a look here, my Enterprise D, as you can see, is docked um, on my station. It's um, still tier one. If we look at the upgrades, it's tier one. It's not even fully tiered up on, on that tier. Um, and it has 638 million power. At the point where you build this ship, if, if that's your main ship, and you know, I said I'm a collector. I'm getting all three of the epic five-star ships because they're all culled from, from, from the series. Then you will have to upgrade her quite quickly. We will talk about this um, the day after tomorrow when I talk about the Rotara. And I wanted to do the Enterprise first because I'm not really upgrading her at the moment, but I do with the Rotara. And we talk about that uh, the day after tomorrow. Um, but if the Enterprise is your main ship, you have to see that you can get a lot of materials to upgrade it. And it's not that cheap. If you, They, they are cheaper than, than some other chips compared to what you get at a certain point in the game. But it's still a lot. I mean, um, the, the 5,000 um, or the 5,200 uh, uncommon gas is still quite a lot. And I, of course, can upgrade her now. But my... Um, oh, which I should, by the way. Let's just do that. Um, you know that I'm always filming on Mondays, as I said, and today we will um, once again have an arena where I'm using her together with the Rotaran. And so 
that wasn't that much uh, of gas. I also need gas for the Rotaran, so I will not do anything else here. But at least we can get her a little bit stronger for the for the arena later today. So um, why not do it? And I'm using her for uh, together with the Rotaran, of course, then for uh, wave defenses. I will definitely use her in the next incursion. Um, and then we will see what, what's going on. But it's, it's quite a nice ship. And we talked about the other details, but um, the interesting thing is you see it, it does 100 million damage per round already. And what is also important for me, which I have to work on, is the warp range. Now here you see it has 674 warp range, which is far not enough for what I need. But the next warp drive, for example, will bring that to 701. And so you have to keep upgrading. Um, when you build her, the aim should be that you quickly get her to tier 7. And I say this before you go to op 61. I did it a little bit earlier to be able to make some videos now. But I see why I always said I wait until tier 7 because um, of, of things I still cannot do in six star space. So if you get the Enterprise as your epic five star ship, make sure you take it at least to tier seven before you go to op 61. A lot will change there and we'll talk, start talking about this in the beginning of next week um, before we talk about the stuff from the new arc again. And I will of course continue with that after the stuff from the new arc. But um, that is something I wanted to tell you already when I talk about these ships. Nevertheless, it's a nice one. Um, with a with a morale, you should put um, Harry Kim below deck, uh, for example, or have someone on the bridge that does the morale thing to get more shots. But otherwise, it's it's quite a nice ship, and it will be very helpful. If you you need to decide for one of the the epic five star ships. To, to upgrade and if your choice is the Enterprise and uh, we will talk about the other two as well of course the Rotaran this week and the Dairy Dex as soon as I get it but I'm still missing a few blueprints there and uh, then you can decide which one will you pick for your upgrading um, from my point of view it doesn't really matter which one it is so you can do it uh, by, via your taste via uh, what resources uh, can I get the easiest and stuff like that but it's not the difference between the three ships and, and their fighting power or something uh, from my point of view. Nevertheless, if you want to comment on the Enterprise, if you got her and you like her, then please let us know either in the comments below the video or on Discord. And if you want to see another video, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.